Reporting for TTNHD Production Live here at Technicolor Studios in downtown Toronto with Craig Wallace. Craig, what inspired you to get into the business? Ah, uh, what inspired me to get into the business? Um, I've always loved movies. I uh, always loved television. I grew up watching movies and television more than doing anything else, mm -hmm. and so it just seemed natural that you know eventually I would get into the uh, the business. What has the most rewarding aspect of your career been so far? So far, the most rewarding thing that I've done in the industry was uh, being able to create my own television series called Todd and the Book of Pure Evil. Uh, it ran for two seasons on space up here in Canada, and uh, I got to make the show I always wanted to make. It was crazy high school supernatural hijinks with uh, a lot of uh, a lot of laughs, a lot of humor, a lot of drama, and a lot of lot of blood. So it was uh, very, very, very rewarding. Really, really fun. Do you think you'll be in the bloody genre forever? Uh, I certainly hope so. You know, may, maybe I'll branch out into a few other things, but uh, it's definitely, definitely where my home is. It's uh, gallons and gallons of blood. <laughs> what are certain horror um, films or shows that you've been a fan of growing up that, that you aspire to, to be like? Uh, absolutely, uh, the Sam Raimi uh, Evil Dead trilogy, by far. Even though the third one isn't really a horror movie, um, I saw Army of Darkness at least 20 times when I was a kid, and I still watch it again and again and again. <laughs> Does, do you watch it with your two-year-old son? Uh, no, nope, not yet. He's a little young. Uh, we, wa we watch a lot of uh, children's shows. We watch a lot of Caillou right now. Uh, I've got a real appreciation for kids' shows at the moment. But uh, I am basically just, you know, I've got a, got a calendar for the years ahead of when I can start taking him to see different movies and stuff. I'm very, very excited to take him to a movie theater. What's the most challenging aspect of being in this business? Uh, it's the developing and waiting on projects. You, you work so hard to come up with ideas and you just never know if they're actually going to come up on the screen or not. And you always have to be developing you know, more and more ideas and you fall in love with every single one of them, but you know that only a fraction of them will ever get made, if that. Are there some projects that you're developing right now that you're really excited about? There are. Um, I've got another show that's, um, that's in development that's kind of like an older version of Todd in the Book of Pure Evil, a lot more supernatural hijinks, uh, and uh, a couple of feature films, uh, all very um, horror and sci-fi. What advice would you give to someone who's following in your footsteps? Uh, never give up. And no matter what anybody tells you about how things work in the industry, the only real rule is, uh, is whatever you can get away with. So, you know, if somebody tells you that you don't have enough experience, don't necessarily believe them. Uh, if you can make it happen, uh, then it'll happen. Do you feel like you've really made it happen and gotten away with everything that you could possibly get away with? I actually do. Um, very surprising to realize that. Um, yeah, with, with my show, I got to make the exact show that I always wanted to make. And um, yeah, I had a blast doing it. And uh, that's a lot more than a lot of people in this industry ever get a chance to do. So I feel very, very lucky. And where's the best place to find out more information on you and your projects online? Um, the best place would be to check out uh, my company website, uh, Corvid Pictures, so www.corvidpictures.com, and you can also check out um, Todd and the Book of Pure Evil um, at www.toddandthebookofpureevil.com. Great. Well, thank you so much, Craig, and best of luck with all of your upcoming projects. Great. Well, thank you for uh, having me here. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for TTNHD Production Live here at Technicolor Studios in downtown Toronto.